Oh, I love looking at this. This is so satisfying. Okay, I'm gonna shut up and let you guys hear this. Look at the egg inside the foam. It looks beautiful. But he did. He start turning it around, just like I am right now. What's going on guys? It's Dr. Hobbs and today we're back with TikTok Life Hacks part 1700,000. I forgot what part it is. I think it's part six. Behind the camera, I have my brother. It's the first time he's holding the camera. So. So please bear with me. Smash like button on this video because I told you guys once I get to 300k, this whole kitchen, turn to the kitchen that way. It's gonna be renovated. I'm gonna have a brand new kitchen once I get to 300k subscribers. So make sure to subscribe to my channel. And for now, let's get to the first TikTok life hack of the day. It's food cooking life hacks, and these are the best ever on the platform. And also, if you don't follow me on TikTok, go follow me at Ghubs. I react to a bunch of stuff. It's a little weird if you wanna follow me. But let's watch the first TikTok and see what it's all about. As you guys see, for the first one, it's some crazy dessert you can have for breakfast because it has coffee, it has milk. I personally have this for desserts, you know, and this is the first time I ever try it. All we need is this vibe. Caramel milk chocolate. It's definitely one of the best. It's called Collection. It's not the cheapest at all. It's very expensive. Uh, milk, syrup, whipped cream, and coffee. I already did the coffee and the machine, as you guys can see. Right now, first step is to heat the milk. Here we have the milk. Flat in the microwave. For about 111. I always do 111 because I don't want to go 110, I go 111. And in one minute, we're gonna have the milk. Meanwhile, I'm gonna put our ice cream inside this beautiful glass. I got a fancy glass just for this, especially for this TikTok cooking life hack. Here we go. It's a little too small. A little too small. That's what she said. <laughs> we need to be able to stir it. That should work. That should be good. While waiting for our milk to be done in the microwave, we need some mini Oreos for the end, whipped cream, some Nestle. Nestle is my favorite. Chocolate syrup and coffee. So as soon as it's gonna be done, we're gonna put the hot milk in this and stir post to melt. And the stick is supposed to be easily removed from the ice cream. So I hope it's gonna work out. If you're trying it at home, it's gonna be a banger. The milk is extremely hot. I put it for three more minutes and it's so hot. Now it's time to do this. Oh my God, it's actually super hot. Oh, okay, holy, it's super hot. Here we go, now that we have the milk, Time to put this inside and stir it till it's supposed to melt. Oh, it is melting. You see the vibes? It's melting, here we go. I'm gonna keep stirring until this whole thing melts in a bit. Oh my God. All right, and here we go. The whole thing literally melted inside the cup, inside the milk, and we have this nicely, as you guys can see, it's separated. We have some layer on top and then some other stuff at the bottom. Now it's time to add a little bit of chocolate syrup. Here we go. Oh, yeah. After the chocolate syrup, coffee time. As you guys can see, all the coffee goes in. It's looking exactly like it. Look at the layers. As you guys can see, there's a brown layer and then a little darker brown and then some white layer on top. Now it's time to add the whipped cream, my favorite part. Oh, come on. Look at this. Okay, okay, quick. Now time to add the Oreo. Put a little Oreo on top of this whole thing. Oh my God, why are those so small? All right, wait, wait, I'm gonna put it right here. Bing. Boom, I'm gonna add another one. Another Oreo here, just for, you know, the vibes. Another one right here. So I have four Oreos rather than just one. And the fourth one right here. Oh my God, I did this in two seconds. It looks amazing. I wanna see if it tastes amazing, okay? Now it's the ultimate test. I don't know why, how is it separated and everything is looking like that. This is mine, this is what he did. It kinda looks the same. Let's see if the taste is good now. This is actually really good. It's actually really good. The whipped cream is crazy. The coffee is not too strong. The chocolate is good. The milk is good. See, if you don't like a lot of coffee, that's the drink to go. But I feel like it has a lot of calories and you know, if you're looking out for your diet, this is not your drink, but it is mine. Mm. So the first TikTok cooking life hack is a success. This is a banger. We're starting the day with a good one. Meanwhile, I drink this. Let's check out what's TikTok life hack number two. This one looks like it's not really gonna work. I don't think it's gonna work, but I've seen a lot of people try it with different stuff. So what we have is Reese's Pieces. As you guys can see, I have the whole pack. We have some popcorn, but just the, the corn ones, not the microwave one, and some oil. 
We already have oil on the pan. I'm boiling the oil on the pan. It's gonna take about five minutes to get the oil ready. Right after that, we're gonna do exactly like he did. He put them down at the same time. I'm gonna mix them both in one big pack and put them at the same time. We need way more of corn than Reese's Pieces. It's gonna look amazing and Reese's Pieces popcorn, that's gonna be delicious. Let's see if it's gonna work out. Put the corn right here. Oh my God, okay. Ignore that. And then just a little bit of Reese's Pieces on top. Corn on top. That should be it, you know, a nice balance as you guys can see. Perfect, now let's head to the pan and drop it right here. Mixing it a little bit and then we're gonna cover it on top because you know popcorn is gonna start flying everywhere. If this works, oh my God, I'll be shocked and see what's gonna happen. Oh, look at this, it's starting to make popcorn. The thing is, I've never seen these popcorn. I usually always pop it in the microwave and do the quick popcorn, but this is wavy. I love looking at it, this is so satisfying. Okay, I'm gonna shut up and let you guys hear this. Time to open this and hopefully it's not gonna fly everywhere. Oh my God, look at this. Oh, oh my God, you can see the Reese's Pieces in it. You can see how brown and dark it, it turned. This side, look at this side, right here. So oh my, oh my God, holy hell. Okay, okay, okay. It's still going everywhere, which is a vibe. But as you guys can see, this is working. This actually worked. I should have added a little more Reese's Pieces if I wanted to turn a different color. Let's put this in a popcorn bowl and try it out. Oh, look at the back, look at the bottom. I'm gonna take a bite of it and see if the Reese's Pieces popcorn is a vibe or not. And if you guys should try it. Hmm. Mm. To be honest, if you enjoy peanut butter, this is a vibe. It's really good. The texture and everything, you can feel a little bit of Reese's Pieces in them. You know, just a tad of Reese's Pieces, which is good. If I added way more, maybe the taste would be more of Reese's Pieces than popcorn. I would definitely try this again. Maybe I put Smarties. Oh my God, chocolate popcorn would be a vibe. I'm gonna eat this, a lot of popcorn, and my, where's my drink? And still working on this drink. I'm gonna have this nice combo while watching TikTok cooking life hack number three. some toothpick and corn. And then after that, he fried it and had some amazing stuff coming out of it. I don't know what it is, I've never tried this, but you guys loved when I did the hot Cheetos corn and the last TikTok cooking life hack. So today, right now, I've seen this one. I'm like, I need to do it for you guys. So all we need is corn, toothpicks, and some cayman pepper, you know? We need these for the end. Like a little longer than toothpick. It's like a wood stick. Okay, we're gonna try to stick it in this and get some thin corn sticks, exactly like he did. But let's try to pick it oh. in the middle. Oh my God. Holy sh See, I'm putting it in these. As you guys can see, there's a bunch of holes. I'm trying to, oh my God. Okay, here we go. I'm gonna try to take this out. Oh no. Holy oh, yeah. yeah. Oh yeah, oh yeah. I think I need to boil those. I think I can't have it a raw. Raw corn is not, I don't think that's that's how he does it. He didn't show us. He doesn't show how he does it. Boil these three corn, boil them in hot water. Now that this is boiling, we have to wait about, I think 40 minutes for it to be done. We have our corn and it's been boiling. It's perfectly nice. I'm trying, here we go. I hope this is gonna work. See, it's not working. I don't get how he did it. It's not really working. All right, let me try with this. Hopefully it's gonna work. A little bit more, a little bit more, one more in the middle, right here. Oh, and finally, there's no way this guy did it without cutting some stuff before. I'm trying my best here. Oh my God, oh my God. Put this whole thing in and just, you know, bite on the sides. I might, I might just put this whole thing. We have this one, we have one. I'm gonna make maybe two or three because that's not how the TikTok is. I made these four. I couldn't make her thinner than this. This is the max I can do. I have no idea how the guy did it. I was trying as you guys can see, but right now, so I put it in the oil. You have some boiling oil right here. I'm excited to see the results. I don't know what to expect. So as soon as this is done, I'm gonna put some cayman pepper and try it out. They're looking really good. They're golden, as you guys can see, it's gold corn. Now it's time to put some cayman pepper on top. Not too much, just, you know, a little bit. You know, you don't want too much. And now, oh my God, now that we have this, I feel like it's gonna be a banger. Oh, what it's missing is butter. But the guy didn't put butter, so I can't put any butter. Here we go, I'm gonna take the first bite. Mmm, oh my god. This is actually delicious. I don't think we have one bad TikTok life hack today. All of them are looking nice. It's a banger for sure, but I feel like if I didn't have this dot the part of the corn and I can eat it right away, it would be much better. They look amazing. This one is looking so big and nice. I'm about to take a bite of this. Mmm. 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 I can eat the entire thing. I'm gonna leave two here. These two for my brother. The next life is super hard to make. I'm gonna let you guys watch it while I eat this. It needs some skills. It needs a lot of skills. Something to do with egg and foam and chopsticks. Let's watch it together.
Now this Asian person has some crazy skills with chopsticks. You know, I love using chopsticks. I know how to use chopsticks really well. This shouldn't be hard. Separating the yolk from the white is not that hard. I'm gonna do this and just, you know, mix it and hopefully it's gonna turn into a foam. That's crazy the way he did it. I've never seen this before. So hopefully it's gonna work out and I need to crack the egg perfectly. I need a perfect lip curl yolk right here. So pray, please come on, yeah. Boom, first try. This is nice. Now what he did is literally mixed it and like some foam got created. I don't know how this foam came from or where did it come from. Okay, oh, oh, okay, I'm trying my best. I think that's how he's doing it. Maybe I should take some time, so I'm gonna keep going. It is forming some bubbles, but this is a, a, a workout. That's, oh no! So I'm gonna keep this, I'm not gonna throw it, I'm gonna keep it to make a nice omelette, here we go, I'm gonna mix everything. The way he did it, I seen it again, he took it from the top right here, just like that, start mixing. This is, this is, this is really hard. I'm gonna keep trying till it works, I need to make this one work. We have another omelette right here. To be honest guys, I don't think this one works. I tried my best. I'm gonna leave this one, or should I try it one more time? I was about to give up. These are more than just videos, you know? As Ryan said, they are life lessons. But actually, my brother saw of something. Shout out to my brother Serge. I'm really too slow at mixing it. So what I'm gonna do is use this. This might be the key. So I'm gonna go back to that. Crack. Please, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my. That, that works. I'm trying to separate the yolk. That's the yolk still chilling in the egg. All we need is that. So I'm gonna put this right here. I've never done this before or seen someone do this, so it's a vibe. And it's time to mix it. Here we go. And hopefully this machine that I got from Wish, by the way. Oh my God, is, it, is this gonna turn to foam? Oh my God, here we go. Oh, it's turning to foam. Holy hell, I think it is. Is it turning to foam? You see the vibes? Because on the TikTok, the guy wrote something in Chinese and Asian. I don't know what Asian, and maybe that what it meant. That's the white of the egg turned into a foam. Hopefully, we're going to be able to do what he did, this floaty, cloudy egg. The yellow on top of all that. Oh, that's a banger. Come on. Come on. This is a banger. Now we're going to put it on the pan. Never give up. Never give up. That's the lesson for you guys. Keep trying. Take number three. All this work. Pray the pan first. Here we go. So it doesn't get stuck on. Look at the egg inside the foam. It looks beautiful. Oh, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, I think it's working, I think this is working. As you guys can see, look at the foam on top. The foam of the egg is exactly like the mom did. Oh, here we go, yeah, that's exactly what he did. He started turning it around, just like I am right now. Super excited for this, I'm yelling and screaming and it smells like egg. Whoa! It's like cooked like a little cloud in the sky, like this is a vibe. I'm gonna take a bite of it, it's gonna float. Is it cooked? It's 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 like a volcano. A little volcano is gonna erupt. You go take a bite. A little bit of yolk. It's something I've never tried before. The white foam is completely different taste than regular egg white. It's completely different taste. Completely different than a regular egg. I don't know what it is. That's definitely a success. I'm so proud of myself to do this. And shout out to my brother telling me about this amazing invention. If it wasn't for this, I would have never been able to make the foam. So if you have something like that, or if you can use your fingers really fast. With, with the chopsticks really fast, you will be able to make it. That's a success, that's a banger. I'm gonna take another bite, just you know, cause you see the vibes. Mm. If you haven't smashed the like button yet, I don't know what you're waiting for. We made something crazy. So please smash the like button and let's watch TikTok cooking life hack number five, the last one for today. Let's check it out. To end today's video with the banger breakfast vibes. We have two breakfasts, the egg that tastes completely different that we just did, and right now it's time to make some hot dog with an egg in the middle. As you guys can see, he made a little heart with the hot dog and then he used a toothpick. Let me get the toothpick, close it, you know, to like make it as a little, and the trick is to cut it in a heart. Here we go. That's a nice um, shaped heart. <laughs> this is not a heart. It literally has to be cut in the middle. So we can form a heart. Please don't break on me. Please don't break my heart. You see the vibe? Oh, oh! Why, why? You see the heart vibes. You see the heart vibes. I see the heart. You close the toothpick. That's the heart that we have. Can you see the heart? Not really like a heart. I don't know. It keeps switching up on me on top right here. But this is not bad. And hopefully it's not gonna, you know, go everywhere. Boom, boom, boom! And just like that, I think we have it. Heart supposed to be heart shaped hot dog with you know the egg bubbling on top. The toothpick out. Let's see the vibes if it's gonna. Oh yeah, it's still the same. I can't eat my eggs without a little bit of sriracha on the side right here. This is what we have. It's looking good. 
it's not that bad. A piece of egg and the sausage on top. Oh, this fell down. Um, I'm gonna give this last one a pass, actually. I, I don't like hot dogs and eggs, you know? I don't like that. I just like my eggs to be just simple egg, the hot dogs on the side. I don't know, I don't really like this vibe. To be honest, what I loved is the popcorn and the corn. The corn were amazing. Oh, and also the first drink that we did. The drink was a banger. On that note, guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video. Smash the like button and let me know if you want me to do any more TikTok cooking guys hacks. Comment down below and send them to me on Instagram at Dr. Hobbs. I check all my DMs. I respond to most of you guys. So if you want to DM me, feel free to talk to me. But as always, turn your haters to motivators. Check out Team Albo. We already posted like six videos. If you're not subscribed to Team Albo, you're playing yourself. Check out Team Albo. I love you guys. And as always, turn your haters to motivators. A peace.